well, the, the pillars of the alumni association, you know that we have mainly four pillars. We work with learning, you know, helping our student, our alumni to learn, to keep on learning during, you know, their professional life. Also to help them do their, their, their career support, you know, career management, how to manage your own career. Uh, also, in terms of networking, things like today, you know, uh, meeting with people from all over the world, different industries, different sectors. And also helping ESA, you know, giving back in scholarships and, and trying to find good talent to be part of this family. So in, in the first part, in the learning aspect, we keep on doing many, many events around the world with the help of the great ESA professors. So we, last year we did more than 300 learning events. We are helping them with experts in career uh, management. These career advisors are um, people with a lot of experience in human resources and executive search. So they bring all this information to the table in, in those individual meetings. And just last year we had more than a thousand alumni going through that, through those uh, individual meetings. So we're thinking about growing this service even more for, for members. I've heard on the grapevine uh, talk of a new app. We're very happy about this project because that is going to change radically the way that we communicate with our alumni. So basically, the whole philosophy of the new app is going to be that uh, the responsibility of the information is on us. So we need to know every one of our alumni, where they work, where they are, and the interests that they have, and we'll have to send them only the relevant information, right. which is very, very different from what we do now. So the idea is we need to know them really well, and we have to send all the different content that we produce in ESA in the best possible way. Okay. And the technology is only a backup of this philosophy. The app will give you the opportunity not only to get this personalized content, but also to network a lot better with the people in your class, the people in your sector, the people in your, in your city, and also taking advantage of technology. Whenever you travel around the world, the, the app will provide you the specific information that you have in this new location. Right. So, Sounds great. You, can, you can go to London, for instance, mm. and the, the moment you land in London, the app will tell you what's going on, who's there, uh, you know, what kind of events we have in the, in the near future, and you can easily sign up, you get a QR, uh, and, and with this, you can access the event really easily. So it's, it's, a, it's a way to facilitate their lives, and also right. to provide very personalized information uh, to each one of our alumni. That so sounds I like will, a, will, a great way of connecting our already well-connected uh, alumni network. So we've had a full day today of panels, we've had a number of, of VIP speakers, we've been speaking to alumni uh, here live for the first time we're going, we're yeah. broadcasting live from Barcelona. What for you has been so far the highlight of the day, personally? Well, the hi well there are many highlights. Uh, for me, just having more than 2,000 alumni uh, it's just great. I mean, I found people from my own class, that people that you know uh, barely see in, in, in the normal year because you are, we are all very busy. We are all traveling all around. Just meeting with people from that you know, it's it's fantastic. Meeting new people also, people that are relevant uh, for your professional development or even for your professional task. You know, I, I met a lot of alumni with different projects. Uh, they tell me about new things, new technologies that are very relevant to my to my work. Mm -hmm. as, Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, the fact that we have ESA professors, keynote speakers, top-notch, I would say top-notch speakers, mm -hmm. is, is something very, very difficult to find somewhere else. So this is like a combination of factors that really uh, place the Global Alumni Reunion as something that, for me, is a must-attend event in the year, that's for sure. Some stats, perhaps, about uh, the alumni community around the world. You've just mentioned the, the figure 45,000. There's really 45,000 yes. alumni around the world? Yes. And how many countries are represented? Well, they live in more than 103 countries right. around the world. So this is like United Nations, truly. Right. I mean, wherever you go in the world, that's a recommendation. Please, you know, use the Alumni Association because there are very good people in those countries wherever they are. So uh, it's something that we always encourage our alumni to do. Uh, use the Alumni Association because it's very easy to connect, very easy. And, and you have a conversation right from the beginning. So um, you were talking about uh, who is in the association. Out of 45,000, we have a lot of CEOs, I mean, very good careers. Mm -hmm. But not only big, big companies, we have a lot of people who are entrepreneurs as well. Mm -hmm. One out of every three alumni are working on their own company. Right. So that's a very good number. So we are creating businesses, creating jobs, 
and creating you know value for the whole society, which is the mission of ESC. So that's you know I always have this 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 comment about you know the alumni association is helping ESC to fulfill its mission. You know, because the mission of ESC is to have an impact, and to have an impact, you really have need to have a good career from the program to the top. That's where we are. You okay. know, the alumni association is you know hand to hand. To hand in hand with the, with, the, with the alumni to have an impact and that's what we would. So this year um, the theme of the entire day is something that we've returned to again and again in our interviews with, yes. with alumni, with our panelists and so on, uh -huh. is this concept of being the change. We're living yes. in changing times, we're living in very tumultuous times. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you personally this, this idea of, of being the change? How would that, how would you translate that into your own personal take on the day yes. and, and your own personal life? Well, it has many, many, many um, different connotations. I would say it's a, it's a matter of you know applying that concept to your own work. No, in my in my personal case, our idea is okay. Uh, we are doing so many things well, so many things. No question about that. But what can we do better? You know? right. How can we change things? How can we have an impact? You know, those that are relying on us in the alumni association for help. You know because they want to learn more, they want help in their professional and in their career management when they are taking difficult decisions about expatriations or finding a new job or even switching jobs and so on. So we want to do that better and we want to do it differently. You know? So we have to explore different ways, sometimes using technology, sometimes mm -hmm. using people mm -hmm. or even ourselves mm -hmm. to make it work. You know? and, mm -hmm. and you know, moving all those resources in the same direction is what we think it's to, 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 uh, to, well, to be a change.